so now we will discuss calling multiple stored procedures at a time so this concepts also will we will not take any parameters okay so under this concept we will take some parameters while calling multiple stored procedures okay at this time we don't take any parameters so just uh, we will call multiple stored procedures at a time not one by one like this okay like this not one by one this is one time and uh, this is another time okay so we will write uh, one more method here router dot post multiple procedure async request response and uh, try so if you select try cache then it will give this syntax so here you can write uh, uh, res dot send error dot message and uh, here let call sp equal to here what are the stored procedures so these are the stored procedures so i am taking all the stored procedures and put into this quotations now db dot db pool dot query call sp and error callback and here result if any error comes then it will go to the error block if no error comes then it will go to the else block so here let response equal to result okay so how do you write this query here okay how do you write the logic we come to know by using debugging only okay Execute this and take this. This is the API method. Oh, sorry. After this, put debugging point breakpoints. observe carefully it is very very important uh, see this see at 0th position in result array you are getting data which belongs to emp table okay so result of 0 that belongs to emp table and uh, here 1 does not belongs to any data set so expand this to so it belongs to employee table expand and 3 so that is not belongs to any data set and 4 compare uh, result of 4 that belongs to department data set okay that means 0 to 4 okay so take emp data equal to result of 0 okay observe this result of 0 belongs to emp data and let second one means result of 2 that belongs to employee data so employee data result of 2 
and let department data result of what will be the position four so write four now you can give this you can return this result set so emp result emp data and employee result employee data department result to department data okay so stop the debugging and go to the terminal and execute it and uh, you can put comment this no need to use so again uh, execute it so now call this emp result so emp result we are having emp data and emp employee result we are having employee data department result we are having department data okay so you can refer this emp data means emp table employee data means employee table department data means department table okay so we are getting so here this is the way to call multiple stored procedures okay earlier we have seen that so this is invalid approach so number of hits on the mysql database that depends upon the number of stored procedures okay so this is invalid approach don't go for this number of hits will be increased so it causes some performance issues so here call the stored procedures one by one so you can write any number of stored procedures and that all stored procedures will be heated at a time only okay so it will not cause any performance issues but instead of writing this instead of calling multiple store procedures my suggestion is to write whatever the logic inside these store procedures and put into one store procedures you can call that store procedure okay like uh, create the store procedure and get underscore um, employee department data and uh, with this so we have discussed all those things okay I am just copying these procedures logics into one store procedure. And take this. You can call this store procedure. Execute it. Put the debugging points, breakpoints, and start the debug. So here, observe this. Zero result of zero belongs to EMP data set. 
and result of one belongs to employee data set result of two belongs to department data set okay so 0 1 and uh, 2 this comment and execute it and sorry, stop it stop the debugging execute it say this so em emp result we are having emp data employee result we are having employee data department department data okay so just uh, i am putting individual store procedure logics into one store procedure and calling that store procedure okay and uh, bind that store procedure results on individual variables by using debugging only okay without debugging we can't know the result position okay so don't go the don't go for this approach so multiple store procedures calling one by one it will increases the number of hits for mysql database so you can go through this method or else you can call the multiple store procedure at a time okay 